up you guys welcome back to my channel for today we're going to be doing this garden fairy inspired look i really hope you guys like it and if you want to see how i make this happen please keep on watching hey guys okay so we're going to start off by applying concealer onto our lid so we can prime them and after that we're going to be moving on to foundation and applying foundation all over our face as well not all over just on this half of your face and you want to dab that in blend it out so now adding powder to my under eye just to keep from the fallout ruining our makeup you want to add that powder onto your face and blend it out then grabbing a yellow color and applying it to your inner corner using your finger and also afterwards using a brush to pack on the color then adding another color and blending that out and just of course be adding whatever colors you would like um, I personally use the, a blue one and a green one and blended that out also um, adding some purple onto the brush and swiping it up in upward motion make it seem as if we're creating like a peacock tail um, and moving on I added some green onto my inner upper corner grabbing your NYX liquid liner in white you want to apply it as if you're cutting a crease in your eye of course typical me always jumping all over your face I jumped onto my eyebrows and did them as usual blending them out with the spoolie I jumped on to my liquid liner again and applied it under my brow as if I wanted to add a highlight to that then moving on to my liner I obviously had to wing it out because I felt I needed a wing, so I did. Also, I added some little dots under my brow because I felt it in the dots, so yeah, it looked cute. Moving on to my pink liquid liner, added a highlight area on top of my brow, then I flicked my liner in upward motion, changing from colors from green to red to blue to different colors and just flicking up as you can tell and yeah I added some cartoony swirls onto my brows because it looks cute and of course we're, gar we're a garden fairy so we want to have that butterfly-esque um, feel to our face and that's why I added these little swirls because a butterfly has these little swirls as their antennas so yeah um, moving on I added some green onto my under eye to conceal the vines I'm about to make I'm making vines all over my face falling downwards because of course we are a garden fairy we do want to have vines on us I filled it in with a green shadow and I added some dimension using a brown obviously tell I'm adding some shadows onto the leaves just to make it seem as if they're laying on my face and they're on top of my skin grabbing a glue stick you want to lay your brow so it doesn't get hurt during the latex process then you want to conceal it then after that add some shadow to this half of the face to use it as a base for what we're gonna uh, we're about to add so here I'm just adding some latex onto my forehead so I could add some tree onto my face. Of course I sanitized all of this. I cleaned it really good and yeah. Um, I'm applying it all over my face uh, as you can tell. Just applying it randomly all over my face um, wherever it fits. I added some moss onto the parts the wood did not cover and this just made it look a lot more woodsy, a lot more garden-like. I just love the way it turned out and this will help the look come together. Bring the vivid brights in green uh, I did a liner under my eye then I moved on to mascara applied mascara to my under, under eyes 
then I added my lashes off camera and applied some moss onto it. Moving on with lips, I added some liquid lipstick onto my lips and I decided to go with a pink because why not, right? This is the part where I decided to add some vines coming out of my mouth and onto my cheeks and I actually love the way this turns out. Grabbing the darkest concealer I had, I applied it onto my neck and shoulders and chest area just to make it a little bit dirty. Um, then I grabbed some latex and applied it to my shoulder and added moss to it. We came to the part where I decided to add some vines going down my neck and to my chest. I did the exact same thing as I did on my face, so just recreate that. I honestly had so much fun creating this look because I did not know where I was going with this. I just was doing what came to mind and I actually loved the way it turned out. So I really hope every single one of you loved this look or just liked it if you do. Um, it doesn't really matter. I just loved the way it turned out. We are almost done you guys. Okay, so all I did here is add a rock of moss onto my shoulder. And keep in mind, I did the exact same thing I did on this shoulder to my other shoulder. Then I added some butterflies. I did not like where I placed them, so I added one butterfly onto my chest. And I love the way it turned out. And we are done, guys. Look, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe. And also, if you want to see when I get my when I upload my videos, please hit that notification little bell down below. And I would truly appreciate it. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I don't know what to say, so you know, bye.